In this book, Robert Kiyosaki beautifully explained the concept of rich and poor by narrating his own story of how he managed both the father's rich dad and poor dad, although the poor dad was his dad and the rich dad was his friend's dad. Lesson number one, poor dad says, I can't afford it. Rich dad says, how can I afford it? Poor dad always says that he can't afford anything, whereas rich dad always says, how can I afford it? The reason behind saying that is rich dad says that the moment we say, I can't afford it, our brain stops working. And when we say, how can I afford it, the brain gets activated and work. Because of that, there are high chances that we will find the way to afford it. Lesson number two, poor dad says money is bad. Rich dad says money is good. Listen, let's understand this point by taking one example. If you are saying bad about any particular thing, you are not going to get that thing in the future. Because if somebody insults you or says wrong about you, will you happily talk with that person? No, na. Everything in the universe works like that. If you say bad about anything, you are definitely sure that you will not get that thing in the future, whether it is money or people. Lesson number three, poor and middle class people work for money, rich have money. If you see, there are lots and lots of massive difference between the first person who is working for it and the second one who has already money working for them. There is a huge probability that the second guy is definitely sure to be successful in the future because he don't have to work day and night for money because money is working for them. Whereas poor and middle class people always work hard for money. Lesson number four, no matter how much money you make, it is important how much money you keep. And this is true. You also know many people think that if they will make much amount of money, then they will save money. But it is not true. If you are capable to save some amount of money from that small amount, then you can save that too in a big amount also. But if you can't save money, whether you get a low or high salary, it will not make any sense for you. Lesson number 5. Difference between asset and liability. People think that they have lots of asset, but in reality, they don't know the difference between asset and liability. Assets are something that puts money in your pocket and liability is something that takes away money from your pocket. If you see asset and liability, you will find out that you will have 99% of things that will belong to a liability column. So sad, but this is the reality. Comment below, do you have more assets or liabilities? Lesson number 6. Rich always focus on asset column, whereas poor and middle class people always focus on the income statement. Many people have the habit of saying and trying to grow their income statement. I want to say that in short, they are always eager to increase their salary only. But if you see the rich, their focus is on generating more and more asset. Basically, rich focus on the network and middle class only talk about salary. And fun fact, they don't even know what is net worth. Yeah, most of them, it is true. Lesson number seven. Poor and middle class pay huge tax, rich pay very less tax. If you talk about the tax system with lower and middle class people, they will say only one thing, government takes all the money what we earn. They will say that government is selfish and that they don't think about the common people. If you talk rich, they will say that government is good and they make a good tax system. The reality is that the rich know about the tax system is all about how they can save tax legally whereas the poor and middle class have lack of knowledge regarding tax system that's why they think that tax are so high so here the problem is not with government here the problem is within you you don't know about tax it's your fault stop blaming government lesson number eight the most powerful asset we all have is our mind if it is trained well it can create enormous wealth if you talk to any successful people, they will always say this line, try to invest in yourself. What they actually mean is that learn skills, experience new things and try to learn new skills so that you can have better knowledge in your career. Middle class and poor class only know that they are done with their studies. This is absolutely a stupid mindset. You can't depend on the education system to teach you everything, guys. Are you understanding what I'm trying to say? Learning is a lifetime process in which you have to learn things to earn. Lesson number 9. Walk to learn. Don't walk for money. If you don't understand this, okay, I'll try to explain. Walk to learn basically is a concept that we get confused that basically if you are going to job, 
ओके योर पर्सपेक्टिव शुड बी लाइक दैट यू शुड लर्न हाउ वर्क इज डन द प्रोसेस ऑफ द कंपनी वर्क्स हाउ द फंडामेंटल ऑफ द कंपनी वर्क्स वॉट आर द एक्स वाई जी एनी थिंग ऑफ ए कंपनी दिस इज वॉट वर्क टू लर्न इफ यू आर लाइक वेटिंग फॉर दैट थर्टीज और थर्टी फर्स्ट डे टू गेट दैट पे चेक एंड रिपीटिंग द साइकिल अगेन एंड अगेन थ्रू आउट योर लाइफ नो यू कान डू दिस वॉट बेसिकली इज वर्किंग फॉर मनी यू कैन कॉल सो वर्क टू लर्न डोंट वर्क फॉर मनी लेसन नंबर टेन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन रिच एंड पुअर इज हाउ दे मैनेज दैर फ्यूर फॉर मोस्ट पीपल द रीजन दैट दे डोंट विल फाइनेंशियली इज दैट द पेन ऑफ लूजिंग मनी इज फार ग्रेटर दैन द जॉय ऑफ बींग रिच दिस इज वॉट द स्टेटमेंट वॉज गिवन इन द रिच डैट पुअर डैट बेट लेसन नंबर इलेवन चूज फ्रेंड्स केयरफुली विद द पावर ऑफ एसोसिएशन यू आर द एवरेज ऑफ फाइव पीपल दैट यू स्पेंड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम विद एंड इफ यू हर्ट दैट स्टेटमेंट इन द पास्ट Why do you still have that kind of people around you in the current moment? Lesson number twelve: Find who has done what you want to do. Crazy line, right? It is true. If you want to become successful, it is easy. You just have to copy what they are doing or what they did. Copy in exam is wrong, and trust me or not, many things that are taught in our school time is absolutely not right.